there's moments like today that kind of freak me out because if you guys watched today's earlier video, I closed my position very early on TQQQ. A lot of people were like uh, poking fun of like, oh my God, Ricky, you sold so early. And then I talked about, hey, I have an open position on SQQQ because today, February 28th, is the last day of February. February is on track for one of the worst months, especially for 2023, uh, but following a very strong performing, mo- uh, strong performing month for the month of January. So what I talked about, and please pause this video, go watch the video that I uploaded earlier today. I show my position, I show that I closed out TQQQ, and I show that I opened SQQQ. And then I talk about, hey, I see potential in the NASDAQ market potentially selling off. And the reason why is not because there's any fundamental reason, but I call it headline momentum. And it's when the market sells off simply based off of what's what it's on track for for that month. I gave an example in today's earlier video where I was like, I've seen months end very strong and rally on the last day for no apparent reason other than it's on track for a very strong performing month, right? So the market just rallies just so it ends strong. And then the next day we correct ourselves. Uh, I talked about that today. I'm like, hey, we're on track for a really bad month. It really wouldn't surprise me if we close in the red. Um, And I'm very grateful that I took that position because on top of the 12K that I made on TQs, I made an additional 2800 I ended up selling my position very early on. If you're part of my Learn Plan Profit Group, you know that I sold my position right around that moving average on the way up. I mean, it was a perfect reversal. It surpassed my expectation. It gapped up an additional 1.52% after market hours. Everything pulled on back right before the close. There's moments like today, again, I'm not a perfect trader. I'm not right 100% of the time. Most often, again, I'm the, I'll say this before anyone, uh, more often I tend to be very early to reversals, but there's always a reason on why I expect something to happen. It's either a fundamental reason and or a technical reason. I always explain myself. And if, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, and I, I accept my losses again. That's why I love trading live with our LPP team because they get to see both my green days and my red days. But today uh, was just one of those days where I was just like right after, I uploaded the video, uh, the NASDAQ market was still making new highs. And again, people like trolls love to comment of like, oh, ha, ha, he sold early, he sold early. And then 30 minutes later, boom, market begins to sell off one hour later. Market makes new lows on the day. Boom, two hours later, market is at new lows after market hours. And all I respond back to those comments are like, how's it feel holding the bag? right? Because at the end of the day, for me, locking in profits and to be made fun of, I think it's very mind boggling because, right, no one goes broke by locking in profits. And that's one of the sayings that we have within our Learn Plan Profit Group. It's putting our egos away, understanding that we're never going to be perfect. Yes, often I do sell very early, uh, but I would rather be someone that sells early than goes from, you know, red, green on a position to red on the position. I think that's one of the worst feelings. Now, I wanted to explain my thoughts very quickly. Do I think that the NASDAQ market is going to continue to drop? Heck no, right? Um, NASDAQ market ended up being down 0.55% after market hours. NASDAQ market as of right now is only down 0.1%. Um, I, I really do believe that today and the only reason that the market sold off is because of that headline momentum. They're going to try to back it up with, you know, well, we're still in fear of these, you know, inflation reports or still in fear with the sticky uh, economic data, which is true. It's still definitely there, um, but it's nothing new, right? The market just is factoring these headlines for the market to sell off for one last day. And then tomorrow, it's going to be March 1st. It's a brand new month. So like I said in today's earlier video, do not allow one day to define you. I don't care if you're red today. I don't care if you're green today, right? Just like myself today, or tomorrow presents new challenges. Uh, and that's what I'm very excited for, to take on those new challenges with you guys uh, for this next up and coming month. We have a big month ahead of us. Uh, NASDAQ market, to my understanding, on the day chart, we are teeter-tottering, still above the moving average, right? But teeter-tottering right above that EMA line. Um, and as of right now, the moving average is right around 288, and we're still far above that. So it's still progress. Remember, a pullback is not the end of the world. Pullbacks happen even during the most bullish markets. So I want to remind you that we have not confirmed an act sell-off as we are still trading above the moving average. So I don't care if you're a bull. I don't care if you're short. Yes, I made money shorting the market as well today, right? $2,800. I'm not going to point my finger and, you know, uh, make fun of you because you ended up holding your position. I know that, you know, there's going to be a handful of you that really learned from your mistake today of, 
not being afraid to lock in profits. And I think that's the biggest takeaway. Who cares about what I said? Who cares of what I expected to happen? You know that you should have done something about your day trade position because that day trade should have never been held and you should have had an exit plan. It's not about my my intention or my plan. It's about what could you do better next time? And I think that will be a positive takeaway for you of like, what can you do to never be put in the same position that you are today? Could you have, a redu- could you have reduced your position size a little bit at these overbought levels, right? When the NASDAQ market was making new highs, could you have reduced your position a little bit, sold 50% of your position? And even if it did pull back, at least you can tolerate it a little bit better, right? And at least you would have money to be able to buy the dip because now looking at how things are going, NASDAQ market is pretty much break even. So that means that the NASDAQ market, if it were to be open right now, it would nearly be back at 293. Isn't that a crazy thing, right? Just this headline momentum. We've talked about it before and it strikes again. The market sold off today for no fundamental reason, but literally just because it was on track for one of the worst months. And this is what happens normally, you know, a couple days right before the month ends. Just like it could also rally if it was on track for a very strong performing month. So just make sure you take a mental note moving forward. Uh, So next time that you're put in a similar position, right? You're aware of that. We might even break even uh, during this little video. So that's that's pretty exciting. But uh, quickly talking about what's to come tomorrow, there are a series of economic reports. We have the MBA Mortgage Application Index. This is going to be released two and a half hours before the market opens. I will not be going live for that. And then we have the Market Manufacturing PMI. That's going to be released 15 minutes after the market opens. And then 30 minutes after the market opens, we have the ISM Manufacturing Index, probably the most important report tomorrow. And then the Consumer Spending Report report at that same time, 30 minutes after the market opens. If you're part of my Learn Plan Profit Group and you expect to watch me trade live tomorrow, uh, we will be covering both the market uh, manufacturing PMI and the um, construction spending with the manufacturing index report uh, will all be covered in our live trading session tomorrow. So again, friendly reminder, if you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, that's only for our Learn Plan Profit Group. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access, and you get to watch me trade live every day. So if you're ready to join our team, we're running our biggest sale right now, and that's that second link in the description down below. So make sure if you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, you click the second link, learn more about it, and to see if it's a good fit for you. Also do remind you that today is one of the last days to enter to get your free t-shirt with every order over $50. And that's at shoptechbuds.com. But I'll leave you guys at that. Again, I am using the Webull trading application. It's free for everyone in the US. And that is the fifth link in the description down below, especially if you're tired of your old trading application. Right now, Webull has a limited time promo that you will earn up to 12 free shares when you deposit $1 by using my link, the fifth link in the description down below. You earn 12 free shares. I earn one free share. It's a win-win for both of us. I appreciate your time. Hope that you earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And again, regardless of how today played out, let's learn from our mistakes and take on tomorrow, you know, at least with, with some signs of progress, right? Let's be a little bit more selective with our position size. Let's be a little bit more calculated with our entries and our exits. And at the end of the day, let's never be afraid to lock in those profits. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.